qualifiers. Regions 5 and 6 converge at Bansang, where we also had our qualifiers. Then Region 2 is on its own and Region 1, because these are very big regions, big educational regions. And uh, that is the first level, because for the National Athletics Championships, we have eight qualifiers nationally, because there are only eight lanes in the stadium. So for every, every event, there will be eight finalists. And this year, we have decided that we conduct the qualifications in the month of February. So from the first weekend of February to the last weekend of February, we are covering all the four regions. Then in the middle of March, we are going for the finals. And the finals this time is slated at Farafenye. Why for Farafenye? For the first time in the history of Why school sports. Farafenye because uh, Farafenye is the next best avenue after the independent stadium because the independent stadium is under renovation. The tracks, I mean, the tracks are being renovated. So we cannot use the athletic tra the, the running tracks. So we have to move to an avenue where we can have this. And Farafenye is the next venue, the next best venue after, after the independent stadium for athletics. Uh, last year we were unable to conduct this activity because we expected that the, uh, the renovation work would have been finished in time so that we were able to conduct that reward. But that never happened. So we don't want to miss that chance this year. So we decided to go, on, go over to Farafenye. Well, if you, if you say you're going to Farafenye, do you have all the facilities, the required facilities to I mean, the, have this program in Farafenye? Do you have that? Yeah, actually, we cannot say we have all the facilities, but we are merely trying to fulfill a Congress resolution because this was a resolution edition taken at our last uh, Congress, and the members of our association want us to have it this time at Farafenye because for them, they cannot sit for two years without an activity like this. So right now, what we're doing, we are trying to mobilize resources. We are, very, we are working very closely with the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education and the Ministry, Ministry of Youth and Sports. And we are expecting that other people will come to join us and support this very noble cause. Thank you very much, Martin Gomez. Mr. Ali Waicha, as the chairman of this uh, committee, the National Sports Committee for Secondary Schools, can you share with us your mode of preparation in terms of logistics? Uh, as chairman of the National Organizing Committee for Competitions, we work closely with the regional committees and the secondary school sports in particular because this is the mandate that schools take part in most sports, particularly athletics, football, volleyball, and basketball. And uh, we know that athletics has the biggest, biggest challenge. And uh, it is the one event that draws all the schools, you know, in, into one big competition. And that's why we are doing the athletics championship this time around in Farafenye, as the president rightly said. Farafenye is a venue that is next to the stadium. Basel would have, but then the track is not in a very good form, not a good shape at all. So Farafenye is one, and uh, there are schools enough for athletes to lodge, and uh, it, is, it has a very big hospital you know, close by, and uh, we have a good security as well, because we have the camp, and uh, I think we have most things in place to hold this in Farafenye. Cham, uh, if you talk about um, in the logistics, you must talk about accommodation. Do you think you have enough rooms to accommodate all the participating schools? Yes, as I said, Flefenia has uh, a lot of schools around within the, the town itself because you have so many, uh, you have few uh, secondary schools and upper basic schools around that can host the uh, championship because uh, NECOF was held in Farafenye and uh, NECOF also happened to capture a very good population. That's why we're saying Farafenye will be a better place. Mr. Basi Rumbenga, the principal education officer representing the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education. How prepared is your ministry? Um, thank you very much, Mr. Njai, and good evening viewers. Um, the ministry is always prepared regarding 
secondary school sports and other educational activities. But in particular, um, regional education sports, the ministry has been working with the uh, president and his committee. And um, the last meeting, in fact, was hosted by Region 1. And uh, we have discussed quite a lot in terms of organizational structure, in terms of date for the competition, the venue, and other logistical needs have also been discussed. As he rightly mentioned, the ministry is very supportive of this event. And I'm sure as the discussion goes further, you will see some of the real interventions that the ministry has always been doing for them. Again, Mr. Mbenga, what is the, I mean, the, the role of the ministry in terms of uh, mode of, uh, when we talk about respect, peace, togetherness, to bring the children together, what do you think the ministry should do to maintain that momentum? Um, thank you very much again. Um, what we always would advise them when we have children gathering, especially school children gathering at ven one venue, security is always a, an issue. Um, the second point is, do they have enough accommodation? The third point is, prior to even converging, have they got parental consent? Right? And of course, with their various discipline policies, we ensure that these are all executed to the letter so that we organize these sports with, I wouldn't say hitch free, but with few challenges. And I'm sure this will be done when the day arrives. With hitch free or few challenges, Mr. Jarga Gay representing the student body. Jarga. What advice do you have for the students and how prepared are I mean, your association to support this event? Uh, I think that's, that's a useful question. Um, the advice we have for students, and you know, I think it, it has to be the same because our position for student welfare um, has never changed. And I think this is one of the activities that are very, very useful uh, in terms of nurturing talents in this country. And as a result, the fact that students are the, participate, uh, are the, are the, are the one participating in it, uh, NAPSA have a, have a stake in it. But what I will advise them is to be with the best of their, uh, their attitudes. Because this is an activity in one way or the other, it requires some hitches here, up and down. But we must always understand that there is a basic purpose why we converge for that activity. And the objective is to make sure we have it successfully and then go back to our respective regions, our respective um, schools peacefully. Now accepting that when a school, uh, when a school is, is, is awarded the victory, we must all be with the, uh, we must have the, the sportsmanship spirit that the competition is about this school winning and the other school not perhaps losing, but trying to learn from the mistakes that were, that were made try to learn from the less maybe preparations that were made and adjust on making sure you become the winner next time. So attitude, um, discipline and respect uh, is very fundamental in the success of this activity. And I want to implore on all the students to be with their best of you know, attitudes um, to the success of the, of the activity. Thank you very much, Jarga Gay. The whole show is about game spirit. Sure. Yeah. Now, when we talk about game spirit, it all depends on the mode of preparation. Aliu, as a chairman, can you please share with us, I mean, why do you think, I mean, the, the, this program should be taking up country? We should try other regions to bring Gambian children together to encourage them to know, show, I mean, their sporting talents. Uh, very well, Mr. Njai. Uh, the preparation mode has been very excellent. This is why the secondary school sports executive this time around uh, made it in a regional competition form. The first two regions, NBR and LRR, converge as one, in, at one, at one center that was in Frefenye because based on the number of schools around these two regions. And there we had this competition and the best of the best in that region, in those two regions actually, uh, taking part. 
Okay. And the next one was done in Bansang as a venue because URR and CRR were fused together and they competed. So this has given them the chance 